I'm going to show you how to start dropshipping on Etsy and untapped marketplace with millions of daily shoppers. I'll also show you my Etsy store and what's been working for me so that you can replicate the same strategies into your dropshipping business. By the end of this video, you'll have all of the resources, tools, and step-by-step -step knowledge to start your own dropshipping business on Etsy, even if you have no prior knowledge or any money to start. And why am I doing this? Because I'm from AutoDS, an automation company that helps automate dropshipping stores. And if I help you succeed in dropshipping, I'm hoping that you'll find the benefits of AutoDS to automate your business so that you can scale and reach higher profits. So whether you're a beginner or a seasoned dropshipper looking for a new selling channel in its golden age, this is the video that you need for 2024 and beyond. And be sure to watch until the end of this video because I've prepared an Etsy dropshipping 2024 cheat sheet for you and I'm also going to share it with you more details further down this video. So let's go ahead and begin and learn how to start dropshipping on Etsy in 2024. So here's one of my Etsy dashboards and I'm going to show you how to do all of this in this video. But before we jump into that, why should we sell on Etsy in the first place? First of all, it's an untapped marketplace for dropshippers. We are now in the golden age of dropshipping on Etsy. Now, granted, Shopify has been around for years, but only in the past few years, Etsy had a huge surge in online shoppers and the revenue simply started going crazy because more and more online shoppers are looking for the unique items that can be found on Etsy. The second reason is that we can all start with literally zero dollars. It doesn't cost any money to register for an Etsy account and we don't need any subscriptions to start making sales. But soon I will cover what expenses we do have on Etsy as well as the rest of the steps including product research, how to find winning products, what are some of the best products products that are selling on Etsy right now, how we can actually create our stores, start making sales and everything that comes along with it. The third reason to sell on Etsy is that it provides free organic traffic. And if we are selling something that people are looking to buy, then we are going to make that sell and rake in that profit. The fourth reason is that there are no selling limits. This means that we can list as many products as we want from day one and nobody will tell us how many products we can actually sell on our stores. And the last reason is that it's simply easy to start and automate our business, all of which I will dive into in this video. And before we jump into product research, let's first understand what are we actually allowed to sell on Etsy since it's a unique marketplace with unique handmade products what can we actually sell on Etsy and what products should we avoid selling so Etsy is a marketplace focused primarily on handmade items, vintage and retro goods, and craft and party supplies, which doesn't have to be handmade. And the best categories to find and sell these products are jewelry, clothing, home decor, and arts and crafts, as well as party supplies. Now I'm gonna dive into all of this much more soon, but just keep this in mind before we start. Now, later down in the product research phase, I'm also gonna talk about the products that we should not be selling on Etsy so that we can enjoy selling and profiting on Etsy in the long term. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, let's learn how we can actually start dropshipping on Etsy in 2024. For those of you who are completely new to the dropshipping business model, dropshipping simply means that we can have an online store and sell products without actually holding them in stock. Once we make a sale, we forward the order details to our supplier who then ships it to the end customer, meaning we have no physical contact with the product and we as dropshippers simply keep the profit between the source price and the selling price. So step number one is to actually create our Etsy seller account. So we have a link here inside the cheat sheet to etsy.com slash sell. Just click on that and then go ahead and click on get started. Then we're going to enter our email address, provide your name and your designated password. Once done, click on register. Now you'll have to go through a quick verification process if you want to start selling on Etsy. And this is pretty simple. You're just going to have to provide basic information like your name, your address, payment and bank information so that Etsy can send you your payouts when customers buy from you and a government issued ID so that they can see that you are who you say you are. I've added a full link to the verification process as well as Etsy seller policy so that you can get more acquainted with it before you get started. But this information should be enough and will get your account verified so that you can start selling on Etsy. So do that first and while your account is getting verified, move on to product research so that you can find some winning products to sell and list them as soon as your account is verified. It only takes a few hours to one or two days, so it's really not that much. And once your account gets verified, you'll be greeted with the Etsy dashboard that looks like this. Now you can see on this store that I 
just got started, I only have 18 active listings and I've already raked in 55 orders. Not only that, but I'm also a star seller. I'm gonna go through all of this soon and what that means. So we can see that I've got over 4,000 store views, 55 orders, and almost $2,000 in revenue with less than 20 products in my store. So imagine once you'll have 1,000 or 5,000 items in your store. So this is the regular dashboard and what we're seeing. You can also see some recent activities like who's been favoriting your items. So here I can see that Eric favorited one of my items about four hours ago and this voodoo guy favorited another item about four hours ago and the list goes on and on. So there we can see some of the recent activities and that is the dashboard. Then we've got the listings. So this is all of the products that you have on your store. Then we've got the messages. So this is where you're going to get in touch with your customers or they get in touch with you. Then we've got the orders and shipping. So all of the incoming orders. So we can see some new orders over here that I still need to ship out and the completed orders, all of the orders that I already shipped out. So all of our orders are under orders and shipping, although it's much easier to see it through the AutoDS screen, which I will show you soon. But let's continue with the Etsy menus for now. We've also got growth tips, which is something relatively new that Etsy started adding in, giving you more ideas on how you can make more sales and set your store up for growth. For example, how to build trust with your buyers, how to stand out in Etsy's search engine, and how to market and promote your shop, even though I'm going to go over these subjects in this video. Then we've got the star seller. So this is similar to eBay's top rated seller badge. And this is simply a badge that shows online shoppers that you are a trusted seller, you ship your products out on time, you answer your customers quickly, and you have a high customer rating. So as you can see right here, I have this message, congrats, you earned the star seller badge. My message response rate is 100%. My average rating is 4.9. And I shipped out 98% of my orders on time with tracking information. All of this will make you eligible for being a star seller, meaning you'll stand out even more on Etsy search engine and customers will see that badge before they even enter your product listing. So again, they will know that you are a trusted seller and it will give them more confidence to purchase from your store. And of course that drives up more traffic and sales. Then we've got the stats. So we can see that I've got about a thousand visits to my store. I've got a 3% conversion rate, which is higher than the industry average. And that's why I love free organic traffic and doing the right product research and the overall store revenue. So we can see this graph here and we can also see where the shoppers found us. So most of my online shoppers are finding me through the Etsy app and other Etsy pages, as well as Etsy search. Then we've got Etsy marketing and SEO. So some marketing efforts that don't cost me any money. I'm going to go over all of that soon. And further below, we can see what listings are being viewed, what listings are being favorited and what listings are making the most orders from our online shoppers. We can also see the average listings per view, meaning is the shop are only seeing one product in my store or are they going to my storefront and browsing through different types of products then we've got the finances section everything that has to do with money so here we can see on my payment account that i owe nothing to etsy because all of my sales are covering my fees and here you can see that i have a nice sum available for deposit now i know that it's not the currency that you're used to seeing so let me just divide it by three point Eight, which would be about the USD conversion rate. So we're looking at $200 right here. So this amount is available for deposit right now. Let me go ahead and click on request it now. And now it says we've scheduled a deposit for you in the next available date. Because right now I've got my deposit schedule on a monthly basis. You can change it to daily, weekly, or any other configuration. I'm gonna jump to all of this stuff soon, but I just wanna give you a quick overview. And further down, I can see the current net profit for this month. So I've got about $1,000 in sales right here. And we've got the marketing costs as well as transaction fees. And up here, we can see this nice message. Good news, we've lifted your payment account reserve. So new seller accounts might get payment reserves, not right from the start, but at some point you might get it because Etsy wants to get to know you better. They wanna make sure that you're shipping out your products on time and that your customers are getting the products and that they're satisfied with them. So until then, they could hold some of your funds, but all of this is temporary and they will uplift it once you have some more orders, ship and deliver everything on time, and then you'll get this nice little message. So now 100 percent of your sales funds minus fees will be available for deposit which is nice so as soon as a sale comes in i can withdraw that to my bank account so that's the important stuff that we have going on in finances you can also get your monthly statements payment settings legal and tax information and stuff like that then we've got marketing so here we can get some nice analytics like where the traffic is coming from and as you can see right here my store is slowly growing i'm getting more visits to my shop more of my visits are resulting in a sale so customers are not just visiting they're actually buying something my 
average order value is going up a little bit and all of my total earnings through Etsy search, meaning my product research is on point. People are searching for something and they're seeing my product on their first page of Etsy search page. And as you can see right here, that has also been increased by 104%. And here I can see that my listings were found through about 7,400 queries, meaning on the left column, I have all of the keywords that people are searching for and how many times my listing is being shown on their page when they're searching, what the position is. So for example, if it's 14, then my listing is the 14th one that they're seeing after they're searching for something, how many visits I got from that search and the total conversion rate, which is great. So how many people actually bought from my store by searching for those keywords? What is my total revenue? And how many listings do I have that are ranking on these keywords? So we're gonna get all of that through search analytics. We've also got Etsy ads, sales and discounts, social media, and more things that I will go over in this video. Then we've got integrations. So some nice Etsy apps that we can integrate into our stores, more of which I will get to soon, and settings like store settings, info and appearance about your shop, subscriptions, which we don't really need, shipping and policy settings, which I'll get to soon, and all of that. So that is the Etsy menu and the important things that we have to know about. So now that we have a basic overview of the Etsy seller account and all of the menus that we have, let's get down to the practical explanation and learn how we can do it ourselves. And this all starts with product research. This is going to be the most important important part when running a dropshipping business on Etsy or in any other selling channel for that matter. But product research is what it all comes down to. If we're not selling the right products, nobody's gonna buy from our stores and we don't want that. And because Etsy is a unique marketplace where we can only sell specific things, it's really important to understand what we can sell and what products under those that we can sell are actually winning products that are gonna make sales and profit for our stores. So this means that we're gonna to have to learn how to narrow down our product research and really cherry pick the winners so that we can get to a point where you saw my store with only 18 listings, which is nothing, that's making a nice amount of sales way higher than the industry average. And I'm gonna show you how to do all of that. Now remember, there are millions of products that you can resell. So it's important to have a good strategy for your product research. And I'm gonna reveal everything that I know when it comes to that. Here are my top product research methods revealed. My first go-to for finding a winning product to sell on Etsy is utilizing the AutoDS marketplace and the winning products hub. So if you have access to AutoDS, you'll be able to access these places and all of the winning products that we have inside with with years and years of data that we have collected and now we're giving this information to you so that you can start selling quickly right from the start. And if you don't have access to AutoDS, I'm gonna talk about other product research methods soon, but since starting an AutoDS account costs only $1, that's gonna be one of the best investments that you can make because you're gonna get so much from that, including this and much more. But let me just walk you through it really quick and show you what I mean. So the AutoDS marketplace is filled with private suppliers that you can get access to with unique products that you can sell that other dropshippers simply do not have. You can also get access to customized branding, meaning you can send out the products with your brand logo on it, even if you're shipping just one product at a time. You can also take advantage of the AutoDS warehouse where we have tons of winning products stored inside and so much more. And here's exactly what it looks like. So here inside AutoDS, I've got the marketplace here on the left side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this category, clothing, shoes, and jewelry, because I want something that actually fits something that I can sell on Etsy. And I can't really sell toys and hobbies, sports and fitness, unless they're handmade products. It's much easier to find them through clothing, shoes, and jewelry. So I'm gonna start from here. And as I scroll through, I can see a whole bunch of jewelry products, like this one right here princess stud earrings with Austrian crystals. So these are not just your average Joe earrings. These have Austrian crystals. And what I wanna do here is see if this product is something that's interesting for Etsy shoppers. So if I enter this product listing, we can also see that it has customizable branding, meaning I can sell this product. It ships from the US so I can reach Etsy US sellers really quickly and it'll reach them in about a week's time. So this supplier has fast shipping to the United States and I can also send out this product with my store logo on it. So this means that the customer will know my brand and they'll remember it and hopefully they'll come to purchase more in the future or at least recommend their friends and their family to purchase from us because we already did the brand recognition here which is really tough when it comes to drop shipping because usually manufacturers or wholesalers will want us to purchase a minimum order requirement of 50 to 100 units if we want them to brand our products. But now with AutoDS's private suppliers that simply does not exist anymore. We can brand products with even one order. So how do we actually 
actually know if this is something that's worthwhile to sell on Etsy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Etsy and I'm going to search for this product. So I'm looking for princess stud earrings with Austrian crystals. Okay, we, we got to try to narrow down on the product and understand exactly what type of product this is. And now I'm seeing the regular crystals. Let's check out how the purple ones are selling. I'm, I'm just trying to narrow down as much as possible. Okay, so here we go. We've got these custom earrings that look almost the same, except they don't have the golden frame around it. But these sell for $400. And I can see that this seller is making some sales. But let's continue. So we've got these purple ones too. However, I do not see the word Austrian here. But this is a whole bunch of purple jewelry that's actually selling pretty well. And some of them have a similar look to the one that we can sell. Only ours is a little bit more unique because it's got these four holders here on the corners which makes it a little bit more unique than what we're seeing here but this is just one example and here we can see that purple jewelry is actually pretty popular like let's click on this one right here okay so this one right here it doesn't look as good as the one that we can sell but these sell for $13 and 18 people have this one in their carts now if I scroll down I can see how many people reviewed this shop so I can see that this shop has hundred and ninety thousand reviews and here we can see the reviews just for this specific item so we can see that a lot of people have purchased these purple ones 33 pages of customers who left positive reviews for these purple earrings and what's so special about them not that much it's an amethyst stud earring and it's in the color of purple so we're pretty much getting the same attributes here only here it's with austrian crystals and it's 18 karat white gold plated and it only costs us five dollars with zero dollar shipping to the united states so this is a product that i would try to test out on my store and i found it through the AutoDS marketplace that's just one example let's continue to more so here back in the marketplace i'm going to continue scrolling down the jewelry niche and here i've got another nice piece of jewelry item so this is a stud earring with austrian crystals another one that's 18 karat rose gold okay so i'm gonna go back to etsy and here i'm just gonna search for austrian crystals Okay, I want to see if this is a niche that actually exists and that and if people actually like it. So here I can see a whole bunch of Austrian crystals that are selling quite well for other sellers. So it does look like a nice niche to sell. So let's click on one of them to get some more information. So this is a corner cup tube stud earrings genuine Austrian crystals. And again, we can see that this one sold a lot because we've got a lot of reviews for just this item from other customers who bought it and enjoyed these Austrian crystals. So that is just a quick overview of the AutoDS marketplace. So again, what's so special about it? One, that we can get customizable branding, meaning we can send it out with our customized logo. And two, we can easily import it to our store by simply clicking on import draft right here. But we haven't gotten to the import section yet or how to even connect our stores to AutoDS. The third thing is once this product sells, the order will get automated and sent out to our customers right away even while we're away from the computer. I'm gonna to get to all this stuff soon, but that's another thing that I love about the AutoDS marketplace. Another thing is that we can message these private suppliers and get access to a whole bunch of other products that we can resell and even get some discounts along the way. So I'm just gonna click on this button right here, message this supplier and say, hey, I would like to drop ship your products. Do you have a product catalog and what are the best discounts I can get. Then we can send this message to the supplier. And once we do that, it'll open up a chat between us and the supplier, and we will be able to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with all of these private suppliers. So that is why the AutoDS Marketplace is my number one go-to when it comes to finding products to sell, connecting with private suppliers, talking with them, negotiating with them, getting better products, better prices, and establishing long-term relationships with private suppliers that can go with us a really long way with unique products that 99.5% of other dropshippers are simply not selling and do not have access to. Now, the winning products hub is similar to the marketplace, only here we cannot filter by category, so we're just gonna have to scroll until we find products that are relevant to the ones that we wanna sell on our stores. For example, here is a jewelry product that we can sell. So I'm gonna click on that, and here we can get more information on how well these products are selling for other sellers. So here, for example, as I scroll down, we can see the ad copy that a seller is 
is running for this product right here. Now, even though we might not be running ad copies, we can see that this one got 23,000 likes, 14 million views, almost 4,000 comments. So someone who's running an ad for this necklace got really viral, meaning there's a lot of demand for this product. And we can also see a snapshot of their website. So I can see that the seller is selling this product for $50. And this is a spinning sunflower necklace. We also have a link to the seller's website so we can get access to it and see exactly how he's marketing this product, how he's selling it and get more insights on his marketing strategies. And of course, we can import these products by simply clicking on import draft and it'll move to our store so that we can sell the same product. And this is going to give you another idea of what products can sell well. So we know that there is a rotating or a spinning sunflower necklace. Let's search for that on Etsy and see if this is something that people are actually interested to buy. So I can call it rotating sunflower necklace in the search field. And here, as I scroll down, there we go. I found it right here. So this one is being sold for $18 and this one is being sourced for about $15 and they call it a spinning sunflower necklace. So let's click on the seller that's making the most sales. This one right here selling it for $18.5. And here we can see that spinning sunflower necklace that we can source easily for just $1.09. We've got two different variations here, so the gold and the silver. And if we're buying it and shipping it for a cost of just $1.09, and we can see that this seller is selling it for $18.5, he's making a lot of sales with that price, with 118 reviews just for this item right here. I love this necklace, it looks so beautiful, spins beautifully, very sparkly. One person here waited two weeks to get it because this seller is obviously dropshipping it from China. And that is also what you'll be getting here. And if you import this product from the winning product, products hub, it's also going to ship out and deliver within a couple of weeks, as we can see in the shipping and processing time here. However, we can overcome this because through AutoDS, we can also source our products. So even if you imported this product from the winning products hub or from AliExpress or from all of those Chinese sellers that take a really long time to deliver their products, we have an option inside AutoDS to source all of the products that you are selling on your stores, meaning the system will find faster suppliers with cheaper prices for the same products that you are selling. So this way, your customers will not have to get mad about getting their products after two weeks since we have the sourcing option in AutoDS. So more on that later, but that is how we can get insights on what's happening with other sellers and how we can actually do a better job and be able to tackle these issues that other customers had with other sellers like slow shipping times. So that is how we can get a product from the AutoDS marketplace or from the winning products hub validate that it is a winning product, that it is something that people are searching and buying on Etsy and listing it for a cheaper price so that we can make more sales. The next product research method is using Amazon's handmade or eBay's handmade categories. And the reason that we're going to the handmade categories, which should be pretty obvious by now, is because we can pretty much only sell handmade items. Not only sell handmade items, but that is the majority. So quick reminder on the things that we can sell on Etsy. So jewelry should be handmade, or at least look handmade. Clothing, same thing, should be handmade. And same goes for home decor. But when it comes to arts and crafts and party supplies, or craft supplies and those types of products, which of course you can resell on Etsy, these do not have to be handmade. So for now, I'm gonna to stick to the handmade categories, but when you are doing your product research, keep these categories in mind, what does and what doesn't have to be handmade. And we can use eBay's handmade categories as well as Amazon's handmade to get insights on what's selling well there, then search for it on Etsy and see if we should sell it there too. So for example, in Amazon's handmade category, I'm gonna go ahead and click on home decor. And now let's narrow down even further by going inside throw pillows and here i can see all of these handmade throw pillows which really do look handmade so let's continue scrolling down the handmade category and kind of get an idea or a certain pattern of something that we can actually search for on etsy and see if we should sell those too so i'm going to stay away from the seasonal products like christmas and so forth because right now i want to look for evergreen products that are going to sell all year long and later down the road we can also search for seasonal products which will have a higher peak but it'll also have a drop after that season is over. So let's scroll and find a nice unique looking product like this one right here, 3D grilled steak pillow. So sorry for all you vegetarians, but this is just for selling purposes. So let's see if this is a product that's actually selling, if people are actually searching for such a product on Etsy. So again, I'm just going to take the product's name 
We don't need the whole name, just the main keywords. And I'm gonna search for that on Etsy. While I'm not seeing specifically 3D grilled steak pillows, except for this one right here, this is a meat steak ribeye pillow, which is pretty close. And as I scroll, we can see that this type of product is pretty scarce, which is a really, really good thing for us sellers. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll back up to that ribeye pillow. Okay, let's click on that and see if this product is selling well for this seller. Okay, so we can choose a variation here. Like, let's just go for a one piece, uh, roasted. Okay, so it's gonna cost $15. We've got this product in 13 cards and he's only got two left. So you can definitely see that he's making some sales and he's got some reviews for this item. So he is selling it. It is a product that he's actually making some sales on and we found it in just about a minute from doing product research on Amazon. But not only that, this one looks a lot better than what this seller is selling. I mean, this doesn't even look like a real steak. We can see all the stitches and it just doesn't look all that good. This really looks like a piece of steak sitting on your sofa and it is handmade which makes it even more unique so as i scroll down here under additional details we can see that it is a handmade item which makes it perfect for reselling on etsy and this again is a great idea and no other seller is selling this on etsy right now and i found this from just doing one minute of product research on amazon so you get the point do your due diligence on amazon's handmade and ebay's handmade categories see what's selling there get insights search for it on etsy and once you see that it's a good product add it to your store all right next and i'm not going to dive into these too deep because you got the main points and you have all of the links inside the cheat sheet which soon in this video i'm going to tell you what you need to do to get access to it we've also got more places to find winning products to sell on etsy including the sell these now blog articles and sell these now youtube playlists which have tons and tons of content that's being updated every week with new winning products to sell and we're updating these products from our years and years of experience and data into what products are selling well and how to start successful dropshipping businesses. So you can get access to all of this, including the top 23 home decor product, which is really good for Etsy, the best dropshipping niches, and more and more best products to sell. So that's just a small example from the blog articles. We have the same thing going on in our YouTube videos. If you are not aware of our YouTube channel, go to it right now, subscribe, because this is the type of video content that we create along with so much more. And in these two places, you're gonna find tons of winning product ideas that you you can use for your Etsy store. Next, we've also got the AliExpress Dropshipping Center as well as Timu's Best Sellers. If you haven't heard of Timu, they are what many people call the AliExpress killer. So AliExpress has been around for years and Timu is here to make waves. So not only do they offer free returns within 90 days, which is absolutely spectacular, they also offer price adjustment within 30 days. So if the price changes after you purchase something from them, they're going to refund you back the difference. And they're now offering free shipping on all orders. Orders. So these conditions are much better than what we're getting from AliExpress. But if you're used to working with AliExpress, if you've heard about them more, you can definitely start by using their dropshipping center for getting some nice ideas on what products are trending right now, as you can see in my screen right here. But of course, you will have to dive deeper into the categories that you actually want to sell on. Like for example, here, I'm going to go for jewelry and accessories. And here I've got great ideas, great insights into products that I can resell on Etsy. Like for example, these vintage skeleton keys, because we know that we can sell vintage items on Etsy. And this one here has over 700 units sold, 4.9 average user rating and a 15 day delivery, which means that we're going to deliver within the first couple of weeks, which is great for products coming from China, but we can still source it through AutoDS and find faster delivery times. And that's just one idea of something that we can sell on Etsy. But again, we do need to validate it on Etsy and make sure that it is actually selling well there. So again, I'm going to go back to Etsy.com and here we're going to search for vintage skeleton keys. And here I've got vintage skeleton key decor. So I'm going to click on that and narrow down on it even more. And here we can see a bunch of sellers who are selling similar items, only they're not all exactly the same as what we're seeing here. It's better organized and we've also got these nice dragonfly wings to go along with it. So anyways, that's the AliExpress Dropshipping Center. You can get more info and the link to that inside the Etsy 2024 cheat sheet. And here again is Timu, so we can just click on their best sellers and also filter down the right categories. So again, here, just to stay consistent, I'm gonna stick with the jewelry and accessories, and I'm gonna click on jewelry boxes and organizers, which is another great product that we can drop ship. And here we can see the best ones that are selling. So we've got some nice reviews here, and the best products are usually sorted at the top. So here again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Etsy, and I'm gonna search for jewelry storage box 
and see exactly what types of these boxes buyers are resonating with. So this green one right here, as we can see the seller that has about 4,000 positive reviews is selling this product and it looks pretty much the same. As you can see, this is the seller on Etsy. And as you can see right here in demand, three people bought this in the last 24 hours. So this one is selling right now. And as I scroll down, we can see that people are actually reviewing this specific item, even though we can tell that they're buying it from this message up here. Although on Etsy, this one costs about $29 and he's selling it for $38, not leaving us with much profit, but again, this only took a second to find. We're gonna have to dig deeper inside. We're gonna have to find the more profitable ones. Like for example, we see that people like green storage boxes, right? So we can see that this one right here is pretty similar and costs only $23. So that's about five, $6 cheaper than the original. And we can also search for green jewelry storage box. Okay, so we can search for that on Timu and find even cheaper ones that actually look better. Like this one right here goes for $24. This one goes for 21. This one goes for 20 and a half. And of course, we can also sort it by price. But these are the main prices that we're going to see here. So we can sell the same product as this seller for a cheaper price and also rake in our profits as well. So that is Timu in the AliExpress dropshipping center. And lastly, we've got Etsy's top sellers. And this one is pretty obvious. Just go to Etsy and see what their top sellers are. Or you can search for something that you found from insights doing research on other places like I showed you up until now. So you don't need a demo for this. Just go to Etsy's categories. These are all of the categories that we can sell. So for example, again, craft supplies and tools, we can jump inside that, see what some of the best sellers are, even though these are not narrowed down. We're doing a very broad search right now. So we're going to have to narrow it down and find the winners from here. And the way to do that is to go inside one of these products and search for that on Etsy. For example, this book binding kit right here. Okay, so we see that a lot of people are buying it. Let's search for book binding kits on Etsy and see if this is something that people are buying in a broad way or if it's just being sold under that specific seller. And here we can see a whole bunch of sellers who are also having success with this product. However, I will leave this as the last method because again, it's very broad and it's more difficult to narrow down on this one. It's better to use Etsy as a platform to search for something that we found insights from other places to see if we should also sell it on this platform. So those are my favorite product research methods and I already found a couple winners by just doing a couple of minutes of research. And when it comes down to your research, don't only do it in under five minutes like what I'm doing in this video, put more time into it, put a few hours every day into product research and this is the only way to be able to find winning products, test them, find your winners from there, remove the slow movers and replace them by testing more products and adding more variations similar to the ones that are already selling for you. This is the way that you're going to be able to put in the work, find success and be able to scale that success so that every month, every quarter and every year, your revenues are going to go higher and higher as well as your profits. That's exactly what I'm doing on my Etsy store and that is what brought me to where I am. Now let's talk a little bit about products to avoid dropshipping. We talked about all the things that we can sell. Let's talk a little bit about what we cannot sell because again, we're not looking for any store suspensions. We're here for the long term. We want to make profits for years and years on end and continue growing along the way. So the products that we want to avoid dropshipping are anything that has to do with alcohol, tobacco, drugs, drug paraphernalia, medical devices, and medical claims. Like, hey, if you use this product, this is how fat you were before, this is how skinny you're gonna be after you use it. So stay away from those types of products. Animal products, human remains, I mean, these should go without saying, but I'm gonna say them anyway. Hate and violence items, items that promote or glorify hatred, violence, illegal and highly regulated items, nudity and mature content, and of course, dangerous items, hazardous materials, recalled items, weapons, choking hazards, flammable liquids, and you get the point. Lastly, stay away from copyrighted or trademarked items. If it's being sold from a company that you've heard of before, because it's a big company, don't resell their items because you're not allowed to. That being said, there are more than enough suppliers that are waiting to work with dropshippers like you and I, and especially if we're sourcing through private suppliers. So that covers more than enough that you need for product research. Just remember to put in the time, put in the practice, and test out these products by adding them to your store and seeing what sells. Now, moving on, I'm going to talk about some of the best Etsy dropshipping 
amazing suppliers that you can work with. Even though I already hinted to some of them in this video, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to surprise you with the amount of suppliers that you can actually work with once you're done doing your product research. Because now it's time to find someone that can actually get these products for us and send them to our buyers once they purchase from us. And with so many suppliers that we can work with, it's important to understand how to narrow it down and work with the best ones for our business. So what are some of the things that we want to look out for before selecting a supplier? So first of all, we want to make sure that our Etsy supplier sells in relevant product categories that we can actually sell on on Etsy. For example, we want to look for suppliers that sell in the handmade, vintage, craft supplies and those types of categories. Next, we want to look for suppliers that have fast shipping because we want to be able to deliver quickly to our customers and that have high quality products. We don't want to be selling trash. We don't want to be dealing with returns. And that's going to happen if we don't filter out these suppliers. Then we want to look for suppliers that have positive customer reviews. And this usually comes together with high quality products and fast shipping, because if they have these, then they also have positive customer reviews because people are buying from them. They're leaving their reviews. And this way we can see that people are actually happy to work with these types of suppliers. And also very important, make sure that your suppliers have good and fast communication. That's why one of the things that I showed you through the AutoDS systems private suppliers is that we can actually message these suppliers and see how long it takes them to reply back, see if there's any language barrier and make sure that they provide us with viable solutions if there are any problems along the way. So we saw that under AutoDS's private suppliers, we can contact and message all of the private suppliers and start to build relationships with them. But when browsing through other retail suppliers like AliExpress and Timu and other ones that I mentioned and that I will mention in this video, we have the option to review these suppliers and also send the messages. So here, for example, this seller selling this jewelry box on AliExpress, I can simply hover over his store and get the average seller ratings to see how well the seller is doing in front of his customers, as well as the product reviews that he's getting for his product. So I can see that the products are in high quality. I can see images of customers who bought this product. But when we're using retail suppliers like AliExpress and Timu and Amazon and others that I talked about in this video, and more that I will show you soon, we can message these suppliers directly through their platforms. Like this seller right here on AliExpress, Express selling this jewelry product, I can hover over the seller store here and see what are the detailed seller ratings and make sure that he's got a good score here as well as the total positive feedback. So above 95% is good as well as having at least 1000 followers. This one has almost 54,000 followers. So this is obviously an established seller on AliExpress, which we can message by clicking on this message right here and starting, of course, the conversation like I showed you through AutoDS's private supplier. So we're just going to send a message. Hi. I would like to drop ship from you and ask them if they can offer better prices, ask them if they can send you a list of their winning products and start to work your way up from there. So there we will be able to test good and fast communication, which is really important when establishing our relationships with our suppliers, as well as competitive pricing. So we want to make sure that our suppliers have really good prices so that we can compete with other sellers and of course be able to sell at a better price or make a better offering to our buyers so that we'll be raking in those sales and profits. And here's the list of some of these best Etsy dropshipping suppliers that you can work with today. Starting with the first one, AutoDS's private suppliers with customized branding like I already talked about. So I'm not going to jump into it again. But once again, this should be your first go to for finding unique suppliers that you can build relationships with, get good pricing and sell products that most other dropshippers simply do not have access to and start sourcing your winning products through these private suppliers. Next is using retailers like Amazon and Shane, Macy's, Kohl's, Timu, AliExpress and more. And if I click on one of these suppliers, we'll be taken to AutoDS's suppliers page with over 30 dropshipping suppliers that you can work with. And we can see some of these examples here like Walmart, Home Depot, Etsy. We can even use Shopify stores as suppliers, Light in the Box, Macy's, Kohl's, DHgate, AutoDS's private suppliers like I mentioned, Timo that I already talked about, Pure Formulas, Vida Excel, and so much more. So these 30 plus suppliers give you access to tens of millions of products that you can resell not only resell, but you can automate your business with all of these suppliers. I haven't spoken much about automation until now, but some of the things that you can get from automation is quick product importing, meaning I can take products from any one of these suppliers, whether single products or multiple products and add them all to my Etsy store in just a matter of seconds. This will save us a whole bunch of time. And that goes along with price and stock monitoring, automatic order fulfillment, and so much more. So that is the best suppliers list. And if you want a full breakdown into these suppliers and more, I've linked the top 20 best Etsy dropshipping suppliers to the cheat sheet, which soon I will let you know what you need to do in order to get access to it. And here you have an embedded video as well as the list 
of the best dropshipping suppliers that you can work with for Etsy. I already broke it down for you and gave you guys a shortcut into the best suppliers that you can work with, but you'll learn more about them here as well as others. And again, this blog article is fully detailed about these suppliers and what to look for. So that is more than enough when it comes to suppliers that you can work with and winning products to find through a strategized and broken down product research strategy that's been working for me for years. And now that we actually have all that down, we can actually start adding these products to our Etsy stores. But one second before that, let's get to know a little bit about Etsy selling fees so we'll know exactly what our expenses are, what our break even is, so that we'll know exactly how to price our products. So here are Etsy selling fees starting from the top. The first fee that we need to be aware of is the listing fee. So as soon as we list a product for sale on Etsy, we're gonna pay a 20% listing fee. Now this renews every four months if we've got the automatic renewal on or every time we make a sale. So if I list a product, that's gonna cost me 20 cents. This means that we don't wanna list 1000 products on day one and just throw it all out there in a bulk manner and wait for the sales to start coming in. We do wanna do our product research and we do wanna make sure that each product has a high chance of selling following the product research methods that I already talked about. This way we can validate the products and make sure that they have a really high chance to sell before we even list it, so those 20 cents will be well spent. Now, if we raise the quantity of the product or add more variations inside the product, that's still gonna be covered under the 20 cents listing fee. So we can list a product, have 10 different variations, and bring up the quantity to 30 or 50, and that's all going to be under those same 20 cents that we already spent for that product page listing. So that's the first expense to know of. The second is the transaction fee. Now Etsy takes a fixed 6.5% transaction fee. So as soon as you make a sale, you're gonna pay Etsy 6.5% as a fee from that transaction. The next is the payment processing fee. So this is another fee that Etsy will take because they're also processing the payments from the customers instead of you having to work with some payment processing company. So this is an additional three three to 4.5% from the selling price, as well as another 30 cents fixed price fee. So this again is estimated, it really depends on the seller location. So it depends on where you reside. I also have a link here that will help you understand exactly what your fee is depending on your location. So for example, Argentina is gonna pay 6.5%, Austria is gonna pay 4% and so forth. So the average here is anywhere between three to 4.5% plus another 30 cents. And that only happens after you make a sell. So again, the only expense that we have before making a sell is the 20 cents listing fee that we paid to list that product. But of course that's money well spent once we actually make those sales. And besides that, the rest of the expenses occurs only after we make a sale so we can use our profits to pay for those expenses. And as you saw on my Etsy dashboard, if I go to the finances section, you can see that I don't owe Etsy anything for this month even though I did list products, because after I sold products, Etsy used the revenue from that sale to pay for my expenses. So this way I can withdraw my profits and Etsy will not charge my credit card, my bank account, or anything like that. The next fees that we may have are Etsy ad fees if we are running ads. Now I'm gonna talk about the marketing section soon after we list our first product. But this is optional, it depends on your budget, and this can be either before or after you make a sale depending on what marketing method you chose. Then we've got the offsite ad fees. So offsite ads is when Etsy advertises our listings automatically on websites out of Etsy, like Google for example. So as soon as you list a product for sale, Etsy automatically enrolls you in the Etsy ad fees. And this can be toggled off inside your Etsy settings. You're going to click on offsite ads and here is where you can opt out of offsite ads. As you see right now, I'm opted in because it is making me some extra sales, but the downside here is Etsy is gonna shave off another 15% from the selling price as an offsite fee. So that is relatively high, especially because they're already taking about 10, 11, 12% transaction fee on top of the 20 cent listing fee. So you have to work with high profits here. I'm gonna talk about profitability soon, but I always mark up my product prices at least two times the source price. So if the product cost me $10, I'm not gonna sell it for anywhere less than $20 on Etsy. And that will cover my transaction fees as well as the offsite fees and still be able to make a profit. And besides that, there are additional optional fees which I will not dive into because I personally do not use them, like the Etsy Plus program that costs $10 a month 
gives you 15 listing credits that's actually worth only $3, and plus it'll give you $5 off in Etsy ad credits. But I don't run pay-per-click ads. I tried it in the beginning and I noticed that I'm just spending way too much without actually making sales. Then I learned the best way to do it is through the organic method and you saw the results on my dashboard. So those are the fees that we have to know about. We're talking again about a 12% break-even fee just to stay on the safe side. And on top of that, we're gonna make another 70, 80, 100% profit. So I'm gonna show you how to configure all of that soon through AutoDS so that all of the pricing will be automated for us. And that brings us to our next step, which is actually connecting Etsy to AutoDS. Now, if you don't want to connect your stores to AutoDS, you don't want to enjoy automation, you can still do everything manually. But at some point, you will notice that you're limiting yourself and there's only so much sales and profit that you can make without automation. I've been automating my businesses for over seven years now and it turned out to be a huge success once I learned about the benefits of automation. And here's what we're going to get when automating our Etsy business. One is the product research system, which I already talked about. We're going to be able to create drafts from product listings from multiple suppliers, meaning all of the 30 plus suppliers that I showed you, we can work with them, we can create product pages using their products, and we can add more products from more suppliers and even add more variations inside our product page from multiple suppliers, giving us the ability to create product pages that no other dropshipper has. We've also got the quick product importing system, which I will show you now. The prices, the stocks are all being tracked and changed on your store when changes are being made on your supplier's website so you will never have to lose profit on an order and you will not be selling products that suddenly go out of stock on your supplier's websites and will also be benefiting from order automation so as soon as an order comes in it can be processed automatically by the system and more things like analyzing our full dashboard all from one page a product sourcing system which I already mentioned the AutoDS Academy with tons of tutorial videos on how to create successful profitable dropshipping business what products to sell what are the best suppliers, best product research methods, and so much more. All that's included inside the AutoDS system. So let's go ahead and do that now. If you haven't done so, it's just a $1 trial investment, which again is totally worth the money. Find out for yourself by heading over to AutoDS.com and start your 14-day trial for just $1. Through the onboarding process, you'll be able to easily connect your Etsy store to AutoDS, or in any case, just click on Add Store on the top left. We're gonna click on it on the menu here, and we're gonna go ahead and click on Etsy store. The connection process is simple and straightforward. And once our store is connected, we can now easily start importing products from our suppliers to our Etsy store. But one second before that, we do wanna get our policies straight. So here is how to set up our shipping and return policies. On Etsy, we're gonna click on settings, and here we've got shipping settings as well as policy settings. So let's go ahead and start with the shipping settings. So here we can see that I've got a free US shipping policy created. The processing time is one to three days, which is how long it takes me to provide tracking information. And I've got the total number of active listings that I've got under that shipping policy. So I can create a new shipping policy by clicking on create profile and have as many shipping policies as I want. For example, I can have free US shipping, I can have paid US shipping, I can have worldwide shipping or products coming out of China, for example, to the US. Let's go ahead and edit this one so that we can see everything that I did here. So I call this one free US shipping. The country of origin, or in other words, where the products are being sourced from or shipped from is the United States. Then I just chose a random zip code in the United States. The processing time again is how long it takes us to provide tracking information once an order comes in. Under shipping service, I'm not going to select a specific supplier. That's because I can't be sure if it's going to be through USPS or FedEx or UPS or DHL. So I'm just going to go with other. Then I've got the delivering time. So this is how many business days it takes for the product to get delivered after the processing time is up. So once I provide tracking information, how long from this point until it actually reaches my buyer. So here I've got the delivery time between one to four business days and I'm charging free shipping. I'm not gonna take a fixed price. I wanna offer free shipping to my buyers to make the listing more attractive. Then I've got everywhere else. So this is only shipping to the United States. But what about if I'm shipping anywhere outside the United States? Do I wanna have worldwide shipping? Sure, why not? Let's get those profits too. So here I'm gonna choose again other for shipping service. 
The delivery time for here is anywhere between 8 to 35 business days because again, if I have to ship it out anywhere around the world, I know that it will take a little bit more time. And here I cannot offer free shipping because I'm also going to pay for international shipping in this case and sometimes it's not very cheap. So here I'm going with a fixed price of $25 and I already did get a couple of international orders and I did end up making some profit on this because I paid around $16 or $18 for my last international shipping price. So I know that I'm in the safe zone here. And that's pretty much it. Go ahead and click on save profile and you've got your shipping policy. Now again, if you want to ship products from multiple locations, some coming from the country of origin United States, but some for example, we might want to ship them from China. So in this case, we're going to create another shipping policy where here the country of origin is going to be China. And again, you can have as many shipping policies as you want. And when you're importing a product through AutoDS, you will be able to see the shipping policies that you saved inside your Etsy store. So you can choose it from there from the drop down menu. So that's about the shipping policy. Remember that your shipping policy needs to reflect what your suppliers can actually offer you. So if your supplier can ship within a week, that should also be reflected on your handling time. So now under settings, I'm going to click on policy settings. And here we've got returns and exchanges. And again, this should reflect what your supplier can do for you. So if you're using Timu, for example, who's shipping from China, create a shipping origin from China for your shipping policy. And for the returns, you know that they're going to offer you 90 days free returns. So if you offer 90 day returns on Etsy, that's going to give you a huge advantage over other sellers that cannot compete with the same policy. So here we're going to create a return policy. Let's review the one that I already have. So here I'm accepting returns and I'm accepting exchanges because my supplier does too. Then we've got the time frame. How long are we offering these returns for once someone purchases from our store? So we can get from 30 days of delivery, 45 days, 60 days, 90 days if you're using Timu or less, of course, if you cannot offer better ones. So I'm going with 30 days free returns. And this is a good starting point to also not lose sales from customers who do not want to buy from anyone who's not offering free returns. Now returns will make up between one to 2% of your business. So it's not that much, especially if we're selling the right products and high quality products, like the ones I mentioned and showed during the product research phase. But that's the main pointers to take from your return policies. Now, of course, you can create multiple return policies and add them here. And when you're importing a product, you can choose whatever shipping and return policy you want to connect to that product and that is pretty much it now the fun part let's add products to our etsy store see how it looks and start making sales so let's say i want to add this product to my etsy store right now this rotating sunflower necklace where we got the idea from the auto ds marketplace so i want to find the best supplier for this product i'm going to keep it simple from now and simply search for it on amazon because i want to find quick shipping to the united states even though if i import it through auto ds i will get it for just one dollar and I can source a better shipping time through the supplier sourcing method, but I wanna show you other methods rather than just easily clicking on the import to draft button right here, which will also do the job. But I wanna see what other spinning sun necklaces I can also sell. So as we saw right here on Etsy, this is a pretty popular product with this seller right here selling this fidget sun spinner necklace for $18.55. And we can see that he's got over a hundred reviews just for this product. This is a seller with over 5,000 reviews on their store. So they know what they're selling. They know how to do their product research search and now it's our turn. So in this example, I'm just going to go to Amazon, one of the many, many suppliers that we can work with. And I'm going to search for spinning sun necklace. Okay, so here we can see a whole bunch of results, but I want the cheaper ones from the bunch because I want to make as much profit as possible. So what I will do here on the left side is I will filter any price up to $10. And here is one for $7.99, but he's charging another $4 for shipping. Let's see what else we can find. So there's this one right here that looks pretty nice. It's for $10. I wanted to find a cheaper one. So let's continue a little bit more. And here we go. Sunflower rotatable necklace for $6.99. And we can also take advantage of the prime shipping, meaning this product is going to reach our buyers within one to two days. So it's going to cost us $7. And we can see this seller who's selling it for $19. We can easily sell this for two times the price. So seven times two is 14. Let's even crank it up to $14.99 and sell at a cheaper price than this seller who's doing an excellent job selling this product. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just copy the products URL and I'm going to head to auto DS and I'm going to click on add products and single product. Then I'm going to choose the Etsy store 
and I'm going to paste the URL. Now I'm going to click on edit now quick, or I could just publish it to my store right away, but I want to do some optimization first. So let's click on edit now quick. And while it takes a second to load, I just want to show you the long way of doing it. So if you don't want to use animation, you want to do everything manually, just go to Etsy, go to your shop manager by clicking up here on the top, right? Then we're going to click on listings. Then we're going to click on add a listing up here on the top, right? Now we need to fill in a whole bunch of questions. Like, is it a physical item? Who made it? What type of product is it? When was it made? And we're going to continue to the next step. Then we have to add the title. We have to download and upload all the images from your supplier to Etsy. We're going to have to write the product description, price it, and add all of the item specifications, all of the details, your policies and everything else. So this is very time consuming, especially when you want to add lots of products to your store, because that's what you want to do in order to test the market and start making sales. And in the long run, there is no way to do this without limiting yourself. That is why we're going to do it through automation. So as we can see right here, the rotating sun necklace is now in my drafts page. And the first things that we can optimize here are the product's title, the category where it belongs in, the product tags so that we can easily keep tabs on our products so that later on we can go to the products page and check specifically how the jewelry tag went for us or maybe we have a whole bunch of niches that are for women so we're going to also use the women tag you can of course add more tags you can use the existing ones and here's where you're going to choose your policies so you saw on my etsy store that i have a free us shipping policy so we can see it here and the more you add the more you'll be able to select it down here from the drop down menu same for the return policy and we're going to keep all of the monitoring on so we want price monitoring stock monitoring and automatic orders. Now the thing here is the product's title. This is one of the most important parts after you did your product research because this is how the buyers are going to find you on Etsy. They're going to search for something and if your title has the keywords that they are searching for, they're more likely to see your product on the first page of their search results, meaning they have a higher chance to enter our stores and purchase the product. So we really want to work on the product's titles and make it really good and relevant for our buyers. And one perfect way to do that is of course not to copy and paste what we have on our supplier's website. So we want to know how to choose the best keywords to use for our titles and Etsy limits us to 140 characters. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the optimized title with AI. This is going to generate a much better title for the product as well as the product description. So I can go for a title, description or title and description. I want to make it, for example, sound more sellable. I can choose a different tone. So I want to make it maybe let's add some humor to it. So make it sound more funny and choose a temperature like balance, more creative or more precise. So I'm going to go with the balanced one and then we're going to go ahead and click on AI rewrite. And as you can see, it generated a much better title and description, even though there's a lot of HTML codes, which we don't really need to pay attention to right now because it's not going to show up on our product page, but it already did all the work for us. So now we have a much better title than what we're seeing here on the supplier's websites. And our description will definitely look better than what we're seeing here, which is just brackets and just text explaining about the specifications of the product but not much benefits, not much things that will really make you want to actually purchase the product. And I can tell that the English just isn't that good here. It's probably a Chinese seller. So now it's already going to look better on my store. I'm going to go ahead and click on save. And as we can see right here, the title has already been optimized. So radiant sunflower necklace, sparkling crystal, rhinestone pendant for women, perfect for prom, cocktail parties and birthdays. So no duplicate words, no irrelevant words. And if anyone's going to search for anything similar to this, they're going to see our product first. And of course we can add more keywords. Like for example, I can add the word uh, spinning or rotating because that's another feature that this product has. So for example, I can add that right here and I'm still within my character range. So within less than a minute, I have a much better title for my product, all with the help of artificial intelligence, as well as the product's description. So you saw a whole bunch of HTML codes, but at the end, you're seeing the final draft of that text, which is what we're seeing right here. So instead of this really boring text, not really reeling you into the product or, or trying to sell it to you, this actually sounds much better. Looking for a necklace that will make you the center of attention, look no further than this sunflower rotatable necklace for women. With its exquisite and unique design, this necklace is sure to turn heads wherever you go. Not only is it a fashion accessory for elegant women and yada 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 you get the point but it's much much better than starting off with a whole bunch of sizes and words that simply are not able to sell the product really well to you so this was done for me using artificial intelligence using the ai rewrite tool inside the AutoDS system so for now i'm just going to go ahead and click on save and continue to the rest of the columns next we have variants so variations and this includes all of the variations that we have in this case we only have one variation on the supplier's website so no additional variations were added however i can go to other sellers on amazon i can go to other sellers in different regions 
regions. I can go to other sellers using other suppliers. I can even mix in different regions and add them all to this product page so I can look for other rotating necklaces that might not specifically be a sunflower or maybe a different color for the sunflower necklace and simply add more variations to this page. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit variation because I wanna be able to price this the right way. Now on the one hand, you can do your pricing on the settings page in AutoDS. Just click on the supplier and the selling channel that you're using, click on pricing, and add in your break-even fees. So in this example, about 13.5% and how much profit you wanna make on top of that. So you can do it from there so that every time when you import a product from that supplier, the settings will update automatically. But in this case, let's do it from the variance. So we can see right here that the buying price is $6.99, which is what we can see right here using the supplier. My added fees are around 13.5%. So I showed you how we got to the pricing. We've got the processing fees, we've got the selling fees and everything else that I went over. So that rounds up to around 13.5, maybe a little bit less but I always like to be on the safe side. On top of that, I also like to make another 50% in profit because I wanna make up for the 20 cents that I paid for relisting the item since Etsy is doing that automatically for us. So after my break even, after the product cost me $7, I wanna make 90% in profit. So if I'm buying it for $7, it's gonna sell for $15.99. This was done for me automatically because I already have it set in my settings, but I can also change it from here. But this is a great price for the product and I'm still able to compete with this seller who's selling the rotating sun necklace really well for $18.55. Now I'm going to sell it for $15.99. And here include shipping price. I'm going to add that in. So if my supplier charges me for shipping, it's going to be included inside my source price so that I'll be able to offer free shipping to my buyers. I'm going to round my cents to 99 or 0.97, whatever looks good to you. Then you've got the general column, like what is the default quantity that you want? I have it at 10. You can have it at five, but make sure that your default quantity is not just one because some customers will want to purchase more than the quantity of one. And I also have an example from that on my store, on my orders page. We can see, first of all, this customer right here bought two products from my store. So he went to one product, he saw it, he liked it. He searched for a similar product in my store, found it and purchased them both. And here we can see this buyer right here, Emma. So she purchased four units of the same product with a total purchase price of $142 in just one order. So that is why I highly recommend having more than the quantity of one for your products. So again, I've got it on the quantity of 10 and you can see that everything else was pretty much automated for us, like the color of the variation and so forth. And here we can also see that we're going to make $6 total profit if and when we make a sell. Now, of course, this will change according to how many fees I really paid. So if it came out to be 11%, that's a little bit more profit for me. Or if I had to pay tax when I purchased the product, which is another 10%. So instead of costing $7, it's going to cost like $7 and maybe 70 cents. Okay, so our variants are done. Then we've got the product's images. So again, we didn't have to download and upload everything right from the start. We've got all the images right here. And we can also use AutoDS's advanced image editor to make edits to this product. For example, we can add a watermark. I can remove this arrow right here, which doesn't really look that good. I can add text to the product, shapes, images, and so forth. And that is pretty much it. So that is how easy it is to add a product with the help of automation and artificial intelligence. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and click on import and it will import to the product section of AutoDS as well as my Etsy store. And now we can see product has been imported to your stores and I can see it right here on top of my products page. So here we can see that it was uploaded. I've got one variation in stock. These are, this is the pricing that we saw. This is the profit. This is where I'm getting it from and this is where I'm selling it at. So let's click on the Etsy link so that I can actually see the product in my store. And here is the product page. So we can see the price. The original price was $15.99, but I'm currently running a promotion, a 5% promotion on my store. So we've got the nice little price slasher here and the price here is a discounted $15.19. We've got the product's title right here, which was generated by artificial intelligence. And check it out. Etsy says arrive soon and returns and exchanges accepted because my shipping policies and return policies are good. And here the customer can add the quantity up to 10 because that was my limit. And here we can see the perfect product description that was written with the help of artificial intelligence. So I don't need to touch anything over here. Everything was done for us automatically. And the only thing that's left is to make our sales and profit. But I do want to go over marketing methods. I want to show you how you can make more sales and bring even more traffic to your store with the help of marketing methods that will not require any budget before you make a sale. But before that, just take a little look at the reviews that I'm getting all positive. And I'm always responding to the customers who are leaving reviews on my shop just to show them that I'm here. I'm glad. I appreciate the fact that they left me a positive review. And of course, when other customers see this, they know that they're dealing with a really good seller. So that's just one way of how you can add products to your store with the help of automation 
and all of the benefits that come along with that. Now, there are of course more methods of doing it. For example, I can go to AutoDS, I can add multiple products, then I can just add all of the products URLs that I wanna add right here, and it'll add all of them to the product section or to the draft section of my store. And another way to do it, if I really wanna go crazy, if I found a niche that's selling really well, like let's say the spinning sun necklaces are going crazy on my store. So I can just download and install the AutoDS Chrome extension. I'm gonna leave the link inside the cheat sheet so you all will have it. And then you'll see this little circle icon that's gonna show up on your supplier's website. So here I can just click on it, click on extract, and now all of these sunflower necklaces, the spinning sunflower necklaces, their product IDs were added to this little extension. I'm gonna export it as a CSV file. Then a CSV file will be downloaded onto my computer with all of those spinning sunflower necklaces inside. I'm gonna add multiple products, click on upload CSV, drag and drop that CSV file here. And that is all there is to it. You can add hundreds of products all at once to the draft section, optimize it, make them look good, and publish them to your stores. Now, at this point, I would like to share this cheat sheet with you by making it this far. It does show that you're serious about this business, but do not skip out to the next parts of this video because I wanna talk about marketing. You might already be making some sales by this point by following everything that I explained up until this point of this video. However, if you wanna make more sales, this is exactly where marketing is going to come in. But if you want access to this cheat sheet, all you have to do is comment Etsy 2024. Let me know what is your top takeaway? What did you learn from this video? What did you like about it especially? And I will share a link to this cheat sheet with everything that I'm going over with all of the tools and resources and more bonus value. I will simply reply back with a link in the comments below. So again, hashtag Etsy 2024. Let me know what you loved about this video, what you learned about it, and this cheat sheet is yours to have. All right, so marketing to make even more sales with our products. This is everything you need to know about how to market your products well on Etsy in 2024. So if you remember in the beginning of this video, I walked you through Etsy's menus. And one of the bottom ones is marketing and I showed you the search analytics. So in my case, you can see in my store that my store traffic in Etsy has increased 70% more visits to my shop. 17.5% of more visits that actually resulted in a sell, 2% increase in the average order value, and a 104% increase in total earnings through Etsy search which is of course the product title. So if you did a good job on your title, you're also gonna notice an increase there too. And again, I remind you, this is only a beginner store with 18 products inside. I've got more stores on Etsy, but this is the one that I wanted to show in this video because it just got started and it should reflect around the same level that you are on right now. So as we go down into the keywords that are giving us impressions, better positions, visits, conversion rates, revenue, and how many listings we have that are connected to those keywords, this is how we can learn exactly what keywords are trending and what people are searching for on Etsy. So that is step number one and we'll only have access to that after we actually add products and get results from other customer searches that lead to our product pages. So we're not going to see results there right away. The first things that we can do right from the start is either run Etsy ads or sales and discounts. So I'm not going to talk too much about Etsy ads. As I said, I did run it a little bit in the beginning and this will require a starting budget. So the minimum to start is $1 a day. And here what you're doing is you're telling Etsy, hey, promote my products in my store. Store. This is how much of a budget I'm going to give you every day. The higher the budget, of course, the more people they'll be able to promote your products to. However, this does not guarantee sales. It will get you some more extra sales. But if your product research is not on point yet, you're going to be spending a lot of money on ads without seeing that much of a return. That is why I don't recommend starting with Etsy ads. And actually, you don't really need it to start making sales and to continue making profit on this platform. When you do have enough experience, when your product research is good, and you're selling a whole bunch of winning products that you already tried and tested, then you can consider using the profits that you're making from your sales and investing that into Etsy ads where you're paying Etsy in advance before you start making sales. But what I do want you to start with is sales and discounts. Here you can do a bunch of things like run a sell for some or all products on your store or create a special promo code. You can make it public, you can make it private so that you can send it to some specific buyers, or you can let all your buyers know in a public way on your product pages that you have a promo code for this product. And Etsy's gonna help you make even more sales when you don't even notice it. For example, the system can send automatic emails to people who purchased from your store in the last 30 days. And here you can say, hey, thanks for purchasing from my shop. Here is another discount if you wanna come back and purchase again anytime in the next one, two, three days or whatever. Another marketing method that Etsy can do for you automatically is sending abandoned cart emails. So this is for people who added your product to their carts, but they never continued to check out. So in this case, 
Etsy can send the messages and say, hey, here's a special promo, come back and purchase from my store. Of course, all these messages are customizable. Just click on each one and edit whatever you want, add the promotion or remove it. And another one for favorited items. So anyone who's adding your products to their favorites list, Etsy can also send them a message, giving them a special promo code that you configured in advance. And those are some of Etsy's ways to bring more traffic and sales to your store. Whether it's from people who purchased, people who wanted to purchase, and people who simply favorited your items. So besides that, I do recommend also running a sell for your shop. I always do that on my shops and what I usually give is a set percentage off. Usually I go with around 5% and I put it everywhere for anyone who purchases from my shop without an order minimum and I choose a sell duration. Usually I do it for a few days and the reason for that is because the buyers will see a countdown. So if I make it like four weeks long, nobody's going to be pressured to buy right now because oh, okay, he's going to sell. He's going to run the sale next week also. But if you put it for just a few days, then the buyer will see a countdown. Two days left to the sale, one day left to the sale, a few hours left for the sale, and it will put some pressure on them to purchase the product. After the sale is finished, I usually wait around one to two days then I simply run the sale again. So this is something that's been working out for me. Here you can write some terms and conditions, which I usually leave blank. Then just give it a sale name, like midweek sale or weekend sale or whatever you want to call it. So I always do that on my products. And as you saw my products page, I have that price slasher because I'm always running a sale on my products. And as I scroll down, I can see what campaigns I ran and how much revenue each campaign brought in. So as we can see right here on the right side, marketing is working pretty well on my store and I'm not spending any money before I actually make a sale. So that is sales and discounts. Then we've also got social media. So you can connect your social media account to Etsy. So for example, you can connect or create a new social media account. All you have to do is click right up here on social accounts and connect a Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, or Instagram account. Then all you have to do is click on create post and it'll create a post on all of those social media channels on whatever product you wanna showcase and give them a special promotion. So for example, I can make a post on my latest listing, which is that radiant sunflower spinning necklace, or I can simply create a post from scratch. And again, this is a nice way to to not only make a following on my social media accounts, but to also drive in traffic and sales to my store. Next, we've got share and save. So this is where Etsy can give you a unique link to purchase from your store. And when you share this link outside of Etsy's platform and you bring traffic inside of Etsy's platform, Etsy is gonna give you a little thank you by removing 4% of that transaction fee. So for example, if you're paying 12% transaction fee, then you're gonna pay an 8% total transaction fee when you put all the fees together because Etsy is happy that you did the marketing for them and you brought external traffic from outside the platform into the Etsy platform. And you've also got custom web address. So if you don't want your store URL to be under Etsy's URL, you wanna have your own custom www.mystorename.com, then you can create a custom web address. However, you do need a plus subscription for that and Quite frankly, I'm not doing that because it's not really needed to drive traffic and sales. And we definitely do not need this right from the start. Now you have links to all of these marketing methods if you wanna learn more about them, of course, inside the Etsy dropshipping cheat sheet. And now it's inevitable. After putting in all of this work, the sales will start coming in. And now what's left to do is to process our orders and send the products to our buyers as fast as we can so that they'll leave positive reviews on our store. And this way we can continue slowly growing our stores into huge dropshipping and Empires. And when it comes to processing orders, we've got two main methods, the manual method and the automatic method. Of course, you know my recommendation. The manual means that we're going to have to go to our suppliers' websites, purchase the product and ship it directly to our buyers, meaning the address that we're adding on our suppliers' websites will be our customers' addresses. Now, of course, we do need to keep our eye on tracking information when it's available from our suppliers and update it manually on Etsy when that comes in. And the more orders we have, the more this is going to be a time-consuming process instead of putting that time into product research, adding more winning products, opening more stores, hiring virtual assistants through AutoDS to help you automate even more tasks. All of this will take up all of your time and you will simply not be able to scale your business. That is why we're moving over to automatic orders or fulfilled by AutoDS. These are two order processing methods that are gonna help shave off all of the time when it comes to order processing. The difference between automatic orders and fulfilled by AutoDS is that automatic orders will use your buyer accounts to automate your orders and process them out as soon as they come in. Again, using your buyer accounts on your suppliers' websites or fulfilled by AutoDS 
which will fulfill your orders automatically using AutoDS's buyer accounts. So if you're adding products from private suppliers or other retail suppliers, you can have fulfilled by AutoDS use their buyer accounts to process your orders. This way you don't have to worry about your accounts getting locked on your suppliers' websites or shipping to the wrong addresses or forgetting to update tracking information since tracking will be updated automatically for your buyers as soon as it's available from your suppliers. So the orders get sent out automatically, the tracking gets updated automatically, and all you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the profits. And here's what the order screen looks like on AutoDS. So you'll see all of your Etsy incoming orders on the order screen. And when an order comes in, it's gonna start in the pending status. And if you've got automatic orders set up, it's gonna be sent to auto order. And as soon as the order has been fulfilled by the system, it'll move over to ordered with the order ID from your supplier. As soon as it was shipped, it'll automatically move to the ship status with the tracking information provided from your supplier and delivered once it's delivered to your buyers. Besides that, you have the rest of the information, including the order ID, the pricing, how much profit you made on each order and so forth. And using Fulfilled by AutoDS, we'll have even more information, including when the product is actually going to arrive to our customers. And if you're using Amazon as one of your suppliers, you'll also get an Amazon screenshot so you can see the current status of the order. And you'll also know exactly when it's going to arrive to your customer. If I hover over this icon, you can see that it says completed by the Fulfilled by AutoDS service. And that of course is so that you can know how this order was sent out. All that's left from here to do is to continue doing your product research, adding more products to your store, testing more products and categories, and continue scaling your success. Remove the slow movers by going to the product section on AutoDS, and here you can filter out all of the products that are not selling well for you. So here, for example, you can see that I've got over 2,500 products in my combined stores on AutoDS, and I can add a smart filter system to be able to filter out exactly what products I wanna move out of my store and what I would like to keep inside. So for example, I could filter by a specific tag, like I want to see how the necklaces niche went for me or I can filter by a specific region by a certain selling price by inventory status so for example show me all of the products that are out of stock I want to remove them because there is no stock anyway and more and more filters like the sold date or when it was uploaded or how many sales it has or doesn't have. And this is how you can easily analyze the best sellers on your store, especially once you have thousands of products and you're already making crazy sales and profit. Now the next section is about returns and refunds, but I already went over it in this video. If you need more information about your shipping policies, return policies, you can find it also inside the Etsy dropshipping cheat sheet. And if you need to send a refund to your buyer, you can do it through the orders page on Etsy. Just open up that order, click on the three dots, click on more options and you'll have the option to send a refund. But again, that's gonna make up about one to 2% of your business and it's not really that important. Just make sure to be responsive to your buyers. When someone reaches out to you on Etsy's messages, respond to them as fast as possible so that you'll also be eligible to be a star seller like I am, like I showed you on Etsy. And of course, take care of your buyers. If someone wants to open up a return and they're within their 30, 60 or 90 day return policy, let them have that return. Bring out the best when it comes to customer service, just like you would wanna be treated as a customer. Now, there are a few more bonuses that I want to add before I summarize this video, including Etsy apps, which is integrated inside Etsy. So if I go back to my Etsy account and I click here on integrations, I can see a whole bunch of apps that I can add to my Etsy store. But which ones do I actually need are the ones that I recommended right here. So one is called E-Rank. It's going to help us rank higher with our product pages on Etsy search engine. Another one called PhotoFuse, which is good for photo editing. Pinterest, which is, of course, the social media channel. We can have it integrated inside Etsy and Tax Cloud if you need help with your taxes, with filing taxes when dropshipping on Etsy. Then I've got some recommended Etsy Chrome extensions, which can help propel your business even further. For example, the AutoDS Chrome extension. Of course, if you're using AutoDS, then use the free extension that we have that will help you add multiple products to your stores, search for multiple suppliers and do so much more all through the extension. Then we've got Etsy Hunt, an Etsy rank tool that will help you again with your SEO. So this is kind of similar to what E-Rank SEO can do for you. It's gonna help you find insights on how to make your products rank even higher on Etsy search engine. Then we've got Toolsy, which is another SEO tool that you can use and Market C that can help you collect your customers' email addresses from Etsy because Etsy will simply not give you their email addresses. They want to keep the customers for themselves so that they can send them their own email marketing campaigns. And as an additional resources, I added a basic guide to dropshipping jewelry on Etsy in 2024, which will help you, especially if you want to sell in the jewelry niche, which is very much fitting for Etsy sellers. So the full article is linked inside the Etsy dropshipping cheat sheet. And if you click on the main title in the cheat sheet, you'll get to the full how to start beginner tutorial article and video on how to start selling on Etsy the right way which pretty much covers everything that I went over in this video but if you need it in the written form it's all there 
broken down into detail. Last but not least, enjoy the profits. You now have the knowledge to start your own successful dropshipping business on Etsy. I left it all out on the table. All of the strategies that I picked up along the years were included inside this video. And of course, in this cheat sheet, which I will share with you. So again, in the comments below, hashtag Etsy2024. Let me know what you learned in this video. What is your top takeaway? And I will send you the link to this cheat sheet. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe, of course, if you appreciated the value in this video. Do not forget to take advantage of automation and as soon as orders come in, make a sourcing request for them, which is right here under orders. So here, for example, I can just click on sourcing request and it'll make a sourcing request for that product that's sold at my store. So before I fulfill it using my supplier, I'm going to let the system find a faster supplier with better shipping times and better pricing. So start building your relationships with your customers, build your drop shipping businesses from the ground the right way, do the right product research, add automation, enjoy the journey, enjoy the results. Good luck dropshipping on Etsy in 2024, the best year for dropshipping, and I cannot wait to hear about your success story.